What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Mark Levitz here to congratulate you on making it to the end of another unit. Unit 4, sound. Now this is where we are going to take all of the information that we have acquired over the past five lessons and put them together for our summative project. So what am I asking you to do this time? Well, I want you to recreate a one to three minute scene from an existing film or television show. Now, this isn't like Lab 4.2 and 4.3 where you picked an existing scene and just replaced the dialogue and the sound effects. No, I want you to actually refilm these scenes and, you know, have some fun with it. So, what must your video include? Since this is our unit on sound, you must include a properly recorded voice track. Whether that's dialogue or narration or both, I don't care. I just want to hear clean dialogue and narration, okay? Then you should have appropriate sound effects, okay? If you have a character in the kitchen and they set a glass on the table, I should hear a glass being set on the table, okay? I don't want to hear a chicken sound effect or something because that wouldn't be appropriate, okay? Also make sure that, you know, you have sound effects, okay? If a character puts down a glass on a table, I should hear that. Okay, I don't want to hear nothing, all right? That's why we did the lab on the sound effects, okay? Also, a music track. Incorporate a music track, whether that's diegetic music or non-diegetic music, I don't care. I just want to hear some sort of music. And then finally, going back to lesson 4.5 with audio mixing, I want to hear balanced audio. I don't want your music to, you know, be taking over your voice track. I don't want your sound effects to be clipping. I want everything to be nice and balanced. What should your video include? Well, it should use, you know, an effective use of the mise-en-scene going all the way back to unit two. I, you know, if you can try to match the costumes, if you can try to match the locations, try to match the lighting and the color scheme of these, you know, source scenes, I will be very impressed, okay? So, you know, don't forget about the information that we learned going all the way back to these earlier units. Also, the camera compositions should match the source material, okay? If they start with a wide shot, then you should start with a wide shot. If they go from a wide to a medium to a close, then your project should go wide, medium, close, okay? You're trying to match the compositions as closely as you can. So, yeah, that's the assignment. I hope you guys have some fun with this. Students in the past have really gone all out on this assignment, and I absolutely love it when they do. Um, but you know, when I think back at you know previous students that have done really well on this assignment, I, I like the ones that choose simple scenes and really focus on the details and and getting it right, as opposed to you know students that want to do something really elaborate and sort of you know, dismissing the details as being unimportant. Don't do that, okay? I want you to really focus on, you know, making sure that you have properly recorded sounds, balanced audio, um, you know, trying your best to match the specific details in the mise-en-scene like I talked about, trying to match the camera compositions and, uh, you know, seeing what you come up with. So make sure that you, you know, submit a treatment, paragraph or two explaining what scene you intend to do, Make sure that you incorporate a properly formatted script, and of course, a storyboard will help you as well. So that's the assignment, guys. I hope you have fun with it. Talk to me if you have any questions, or email me. And uh, yeah, congratulations on making it to the end of another unit. I'll see you in Unit 5. Bye!